Hello, this video has been designed to discuss how to add wikis to your Moodle course. First, we are going to go to Turn Editing On. Next, I'm going to click on Add an Activity or Resource. And then I'm going to select Wiki and click the Add button. Now I'm going to set up my wiki settings. First, I'm going to provide a wiki name, which I titled Wiki. The description states this is a wiki. Then I'm going to go down to wiki mode. I want this to be a collaborative wiki so students could add to the wiki. You do have the option to make it an individual wiki as well. The first page name will be titled wiki and we'll talk more about page names uh, a little later on in this uh, video. And for format, I'm going to have the default format be HTML. You do have other options but it's strongly suggested that you keep the default format as HTML. Now I'm going to click and say, on Save and Display. You will then be brought to the uh, Create Page Options. Um, and it's just showing you which options you have selected. And again, just make sure you keep the uh, format as HTML format. And it um, lets you know what your new page title will be. Um, so you've selected, uh, if it's Science Page 2, um, it's fixed, so you can't uh, edit that. So just be aware of that. Once you select your page title in the previous page, that will be the page title. And now I'm going to click Create Page. Once you select Create Page, you will be brought to the Edit tab. As you can see up top here, we have a tab display to access the options of the wiki. You can add images, and text to the wiki, and you can also create new pages from the initial wiki page, which we'll talk about just a little bit later. If I scroll to the bottom of the page, you will see some options to save or preview, or if you want to cancel uh, any of the editing that you've um, already created. But if you save, that will just save the changes that you've made to the wiki, or you can just go ahead and preview what you've um, inserted into the wiki. I've saved my changes to the wiki and now you can see that I'm in the view mode as the view tab is highlighted in green and this is what I have inserted into the wiki thus far. I have some text, I have an image, I also have three hyperlinks to, to three new pages which will talk about how to create new pages within the wiki and in order to do that I'm going to go back to the edit tab. Once I click on edit, as you can see I've entered text with two square brackets on either side of the text. You may be wondering why I've added those brackets. Those brackets will create a link to a new page within the larger wiki that we have created. So if I click Save, and I'll be brought back to the view mode, you will see that these now turn into hyperlinks to other pages. That's how you can create a new page within the larger wiki activity. So all you have to do is type some text, which will be the title of the new page, and then add double brackets uh, on either side of the text. So I've just gone ahead and added a title to a new page titled Group 1. So let's say, for example, um, we are working on a group project, and now I'm going to create a Group 1 page uh, within the wiki. So the Group 1 uh, can have their own page to work, with, work in as they're planning the project. So you can have multiple groups working within one wiki uh, to plan their uh, project. Maybe they come back together for more of a, a collaborative culminating experience for the project. So I've put the double brackets on either side of the text for group one. I click save. And now you will see group one is italicized. I'm going to click on group one now. And now you see the Create Page options from the initial wiki page that we uh, recently created. I'm going to keep it as HTML format. As you can see, the new page title is Group 1. And I'm going to click Create Page. And now I have a Group 1 page, and I'm open right up to the uh, Edit Tab Display option. Now you may be wondering, how do I get back to the other pages that have been created, especially the first wiki page that we've created? essentially the home page. So I'm going to click on the map uh, tab of our tab display. And as you can see, it's alphabetized 
for each page. So here you see the Group 1 uh, page, the New page, Science page, and the initial Wiki page that we created. So if I want to get back to that initial Wiki page, I simply click on the Wiki link. And here I am, right back to the first initial page that we created within the Wiki. As a faculty member, it is important to realize that you have administrative uh, opportunities within the Wiki. So if I simply click on the Administration tab, I can remove pages if I need to uh, as a faculty member. So I simply uh, have the drop-down menu set as Remove Pages, which is, default, which is the defaulted selection. Then I uh, click on the List All button. And then you have the list of all the wiki pages. And I can uh, click on the pencil to edit of any of the wiki pages, or I can click on the X to delete any of the wiki pages. Another nice function of the wiki is that you can compare the progression of the wiki. So for example, if I click on the history tab, I now can use these buttons on the left hand side and track the versions of the wiki. So if let's say I want to compare version 8 and um, actually let's lower this down to 3 and I'll select um, version 9. So we're going to compare the third change to the wiki and the ninth change to the wiki. I'm going to now uh, click the compare selected button And now you see you have this juxtaposition of both wikis, and you can see what has been added over time. And you see you have the date here, November 12th and November 13th. And as you can see, other pages have been added from November 12th to November 13th. As a faculty member, another administrative feature that is available to you is the Files tab. Within the Files tab, you can edit wiki files. So if I click on the Edit Wiki Files button, I can manage all of the files and images that are uploaded to the wiki. So if I want to remove a file or an image from the wiki, I can simply click on an image. So I'll select this jellyfish image, and I can cl click the Delete button and remove this image from the wiki. You can also add comments to the wiki by clicking on the comments tab. You then click the add comment link and then you can add your comment. So I'm going to put hello and save changes. Continue. And there's my comment which states hello. And then students can also add comments to the wiki as well. Finally, just want to let you know that you can use the logs option on the administration block for the wikis. So simply click logs and you can see all of the activity within the wiki. This concludes the video on how to add a wiki to your Moodle course.